There's going to be no fingering tonight. There's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be some questions. Give us a woo woo. Please, let's welcome to the stage Damon and Jamie. Congratulations. Everyone's saying this is the best album you've ever made. The Independent Today, best album you've ever made. Guardian Tomorrow, best album you've ever made. Do you agree? You must be fucking buzzing, surely. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's the best album we've ever made. What the fuck? That sounds like the last 20 years we've been dragging our feet. I think it's... It's another good album. Oh, controversial. Can I ask you though, why didn't you ask me to do the bit? Skinny, 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 I, 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 come on! <laughs> Who would have wanted me to say, I, 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 It's basically I, I, me. It is you. I channeled you. Can I have some money? <laughs> <laughs> come and perform it. <laughs> oh my God, a Coachella. Yeah. Who's going to Coachella to see him perform? Okay, maybe. Okay, okay Kingston, I know it's it. We're all in there. <laughs> no one's got any money, I get it. Thank you. So listen, tell us about Cracker Island. Where is Cracker Island? That's what we want to know. We want to go to Cracker Island, don't we? Okay, so first you've got to understand what the word cracker means in this instance. Oh. Because Ritz, um, Jacobs. a cracker, a cracker in uh, American slang, is a kind of crazy white person. It's a derogatory term. Oh shit! I didn't know that. Sorry, love. <laughs> I didn't. And uh, I, sp I suppose Cracker Island is a place where I don't know all, all the sort of Anglo-Saxon traits that maybe I wouldn't necessarily want to embody myself, Ooh. like they all hang out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so, it's a bit of a chicken in, and the egg. In, in, the, in the case of this album, Cracker Island is Los Angeles. And the idea is that Los Angeles was built on white power. They had the cinema, they had the land. Yeah. So the crackers in this, in this instance are the forever cult. There were a group of people who were set up in the early 1920s and they owned the land, the Hollywood Hills, they owned cinema, they had the money, they had the power. Yeah. Which is kind of, still kind of the case, right? Which is something that needs to be... We've started in a place which, you know, maybe we would like to dwell. But, but the point is, the, the word cracker in this context yeah. is an island where kind of ideas like QAnon and Fox News. They only listen to Fox News on Cracker Island. Yeah. You know, you get it. Oh yeah, I get it, love, I get it. So listen, so when this Cracker Island idea comes up, you come up with the songs, or do you come up first with the with the artwork and everything and the kind what what who comes first? What's the chicken and the egg? Who's the Richard? Who's the Judy? <laughs> With, um, oh, are you like cheeky uh, girls? You both have the same input. <laughs> oh, well, I can't even think of a funny answer for that. I'm going to have to go for the boring answer. No, we want to know, we want to know! Well, we just, we go somewhere. In, the, in this case, we, well, we were in Los Angeles a lot um, during 2021 for another project. We spent a lot of time there. And we liked hanging out there. I think this was during, you know, Brexit and everything. And we thought, mm. fuck it, let's go work in Los Angeles. Yeah. 
we started to work with Frank Jukes at his very weird house in the, um, Silver Lake. He had this incredible house. We went through the gate, there was a driveway, and then there were like 10 houses and beautiful plush lawns and, and, and fully developed trees. And I said, which is your house? And he said, all of them. <laughs> and then it was kind of like a cult compound. And we were like... It was from the 1920s. It was, it was, like, it was a Hollywood producer built it in the 1920s. It, and sort the thing, of looked, it looked like a sort of a, a collection of Swiss chalets. Yeah. yeah. But, but, that, but that's, that's LA, that's Hollywood. I yeah. mean, anything, anything can be imagined and and realized. You don't need planning permission. If you own the land, you can build what the yeah. fuck you want. And he built this weird sort of place that looked like, looked like the sort of place that a cult would live. He didn't buy it. No, he didn't build he it. it. He we bought didn't. it. God, you are like Richard and Julian, a few bickering. <laughs> but you mentioned Silver Lake in the lyrics, and you also mentioned cult. So is that something, because cold comes up a lot of the time? So that was the starting point for the record. We said, and you do that when you do the drawing? You, you cult and then you well, start I the was, writing? And... I was sketchy, but we were... Are you sure we called you a cold? <laughs> <laughs> he calls me a cold all the time. But we were, we were at this place, and we were, we were at the early stages of coming up with an idea. And I said, this is like a cult com compound. This would be the perfect setting. And I said, they should become a cult. Because, you know, after the Trump administration and the madness of America, it felt like there were all these new cults turning up. Yeah. As Dana said earlier, Fox News is essentially a cult. It's feeding you information to a certain type of person. But in a way, social media is just a sort of relentless onslaught of cults that sometimes sort of, sort of disappear in hours or sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's the same. It's the same. It's misinformation, of... isn't it? Exactly. That's the problem. Exactly. It's misinformation. Exactly. And people, there's people who will believe that misinformation, and the other people who want to believe misinformation. Yeah. That's the sadness but, about it all. Isn't it? People are desperate for misinformation because they're scared of the truth. Yes. So that was the starting point. They become a cult, but why do they become a cult? And then we had the idea that the house they rent, gorillas go to LA, rent a house, Frank Duke's place. To, to write an album, and they look over the fence one day, they go to the, the property line, they look over the fence, and there's a cult living next door to them, the forever cult, and Murdoch falls in love with the leader, who's this beautiful woman who's been alive since the 1920s, because she's... Well, I see her in story. the video. Did you see in the video? She was she's kissing you. off with this old woman. Did you see that as well? Was I the only one who was hard? <laughs> So they decide to become a cult so he can flirt with her. Oh. I will have my own cult and then you'll see me. And so then the story begins. And it's a, it became a very complex story. And we were, at that time, we were working with Netflix on an idea for a movie. And we realized the idea we had for this was better than the idea we had for the movie. <laughs> so it became kind of a, quite a dense idea.